Ho 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 and Merry Christmas to everyone that is probably not watching this video at the Christmas time if I can upload it at that moment. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah and all of the celebrities that you do. Um, I made a video. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katerina and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a manga review that is very very special because it's very seasonal thingy, which I'm very happy to do. I almost never get the chance, either because I'm working or because I just don't read seasonal things, to do a seasonal thing as per my liking and so I am very very honestly excited to do this review for you guys. So the review that I'm going to be doing is for a first volume of a new manga series that is coming out and that is coming out right at the moment that it should be and it's called Black Knight Parade. So this is volume one as I previously stated and this is by Hikaru Nakamura and this is basically a Christmas uh, saga and story but with one tiny tiny itsy bitsy really big dark twist. So for those of you guys that really enjoy the darkness and the creepy things and want to read something jolly and holiday-ish but don't know where to get your dark kinks from, this is it. This is, this is your manga series. I'm actually very excited about this series. I have just finished this volume right in time of the end of the year and Christmas and I was very enthralled and very happy. So this is a story about our main character Ino Miharu and he is in a drill. He is in a place in life where he's 23 years old. He just, you know, he doesn't have a job, he has a part-time job in a convenience store and his life is kind of terrible. He has always been the good boy, the good child and it has led him nowhere. He had failing grades at uh, high school so he couldn't go to university. He never landed a job, he sucked at his in interviews and so he's stuck in his part-time job for a long long time and he has had enough. And so when he goes out for Christmas um, out of the store, he decides he's going to steal a cake that is past the expiration date to bring home with him and eat because his co-worker does it all the time and his boss doesn't give a shit and he kind of thought that he his, was robbing the cake when he was just going to buy it so he kind of is like well I'm a good boy and I never do anything bad so I'm just going to fucking steal this cake which I mean I fucking understand it was half priced and expired you know and he's been working there for a long time so you know public jobs or to the public, yeah. we get it, it's tough. So when he does this, uh, this person all dressed in black appears and he just talks to him and he's like, I am the black Santa and you have been a bad boy and my sack is going to eat you. I shit you not, this Santa's sack or bag, so I can't stop saying sack, is a carnivorous plant <laughs> and just fucking eats our main character and he wakes up uh, in the North Pole in the office of uh, Santa Claus and this black Santa Claus just tells him there's a red Santa Claus and he is dead and then there's the black Santa Claus and that's me and you're going to work for me for a whole year with lots of incredible benefits and lots and lots of money that you're going to earn uh, for extra hours and for everything that you do and you know um, you're gonna do it because I am the Santa for the bad boys and the red Santa is for the good boys and we have been having lots and lots of work because a lot of people are like bad boys and bad girls so we need your help you're gonna work here and he has everything that he ever wanted. He has a job, he has benefits, he has everything, except the deadline of his job is one year because he actually didn't do anything that wrong. Um, and that's where the story takes a turn. Uh, first of all, this dark black Santa gives intestines and coal and horrible things to bad boys and girls, which it was already very creepy and dark. Second of all, the mascot that works for them is creepy as fuck. Third of all, Red Santa is dead? How come? Fourth, 
thingy. The Black Santa wears cuffs that only allow him to touch the bad children's things. Really? And to top it off, if our main character wants to keep his job, he has to do horrible things. And he's a good boy, so he cannot. Um, this is actually an incredible manga. I really liked it. It was funny. Uh, it was a little bit foolish and a little bit over the top because our main character is one of those like kind of I'm a loser character but then he overreacts about every single thing which is awesome and we will probably do it in his place. Um, the main setting of the thing is really great. I love how they're bringing imagination of like Krampus and other uh, non-traditional Christmas things that uh, are around the entirety of Europe and other countries to the manga genre and it's just so incredible that there's two Santas and uh, Santa Claus is dead and there's only Black Santa and it's incredible, it's amazing it's creepy to a level but if you don't like horror you can still read it uh, there's no gruesome imagery, at least for the first volume of this our main character is very relatable because I'm 27, I don't have a job um, sort of somewhat and you know I don't know what I'm going to do with my life and I sometimes consider doing weird jobs uh, so you know uh, and he's also this person that was taught to be good but it's kind of using his powers now for evil if you know what I mean because he really wants the benefits and the health insurance and everything that a good job provides and should provide and it's also actually a not so veiled criticism to black companies and strange work hours and uh, strange things that you are asked to do in works that are very shady and also politic companies and everything. There's things with contracts, there's things with uh, what he has to do, what he has not to do, how he can climb the stairs of hierarchy, how he cannot, how it works for fooding and housing and everything. And so I think it's also a very valid and a very understandably so, criticism to companies and to their company polis and all of the benefits that they have to offer to um, their workers and uh, obviously what they don't offer and actually criticism to the way the jobs work today which is very very fun and it's all wrapped up in a very Christmas holly jolly thing we also know a little bit about some of the characters that are going to be his co-workers and the backstories are probably going to be very sad from what I've been gathering in here. I'm not going to detail you neither what he has to do to maintain his job, neither what's what we know about his co-workers or a co-worker in specific, but it's really I think it's really worth the dive in. If you like manga, it's a really good one for you. It's fairly short. I don't know how many volumes this is going to be, but this first one was sincerely one of those that I really, really enjoyed and that I think you guys could enjoy too, especially in the festive season, but also probably out of it since it's going to keep coming out and it's not going to be Christmas anymore. Um, but for the winter and everything, it's just so fun because they're actually in North Pole, so it's freezing as fuck and it's fun and you get to see them all like dressed in black and just scouting the bad children and what they want and they just want to slightly disappoint those children and it's fun as hell but also a very incredible social commentary and it also makes me think if someday I was in this list because I don't think I was ever disappointed by my gifts but now I'm rethinking the entirety of Christmas and yeah, guys, that's all that I have to say on Black Knight Parade. I really love this first volume. Also, I really wanted to wish you Merry Festivities to all of you, whichever you celebrate. And I hope that you guys are okay. And I know that Christmas can be a tough time for most of us. And for that reason alone, I just want to tell you that you have something here that you can read to cheer you up. Because even though it's a social criticism and you can tell, it's very, very funny, very, very interesting. And I really, really like this manga. So hopefully the rest of the series is going to be great and preferably short so I can do a review for all of you guys of the entirety of the series. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this video. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe. And again, Merry festivities, and I hope to see you guys 
around for the next year. So happy readings to you all. Bye!